Hello, sweet souls. Happy Saturday. It is September 28th, and this is going to be your first reading of the day. We're going to call on St. Michael. St. Michael, please return to sender. Anyone sending ill will through thought, word, or action toward myself or the viewer, we're going to call on the Holy Spirit, angel saints, spirit guides, and ancestors, and ask for a message for your greater good. So let's see what's in the current energy, guys. We are back home. No damage. Everything's safe. Everything's good. God is good. So I just want to let you guys know that. All right, let's see. Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, Saints, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors. What's in the current energy? What's in the current energy? A lot of illusion, Seven of Cups. Now, this can also represent with the Seven of Cups many options. But the energy I feel is someone, yeah, past energy. Someone from the past is confused. They're in an illusion. Um, okay, let's see. What's the challenge? What is the challenge, Holy Spirit? Two of Wands. They know they need to make a decision. They don't know which decision to make. We'll find out more when we clarify. What's the focus, Holy Spirit? What's the focus? Truth and only truth for the collective. What is the focus? You're focused on building your legacy, Ten of Pentacles. This can be someone else also focused on what you've got going on. What investments you're making. All right, past energy. Past energy. Past energy. You know, in the past, it looks like there was a lot of communication. Um, with the Eight of Wands and the Knight of Wands, there was a lot of communication regarding this person. This is a player energy. Give me one more. Past energy. This person looks like they were communicating with another person. A Queen of Wands. Who's the Queen of Wands? Someone they thought was their soulmate. So there could have been a third party situation in the past. There was a lot of communication. This player energy was communicating with another feminine that they thought was their soulmate. All right. What is the strength for the collective? Strength for the collective. What is the strength for the collective? <laughs> wow. This deception and betrayal that you went through in the past... It forced you to stand up in your Queen of Swords energy, speaking your truth, cutting this person out, cutting anyone out that was in this energy. So it became a strength for you. It, I'm, I'm getting the energy of self-respect. I love myself. I respect myself too much to tolerate this type of behavior. And that's why it was a strength for you. It taught you to stand up for yourself. All right. What's happening in the near future? near future God's got someone in a timeout near future somebody stuck stagnant at a crossroads feeling confused uncertain and this is God doing this I don't feel like this is collective energy although it could be take what resonates uh, what is the advice for the collective what's the advice for the collective advice Always come from a place of love. Don't compromise your loving energy for anyone. Don't let anyone poke you, prod you into reacting in a way that's lower vibrational. Stay in your love vibration. Protect your energy, but stay in the vibration of love. All right. What's in the environment? In the environment, people can see you are the empress. You are this divine femme energy, high vibration, whether you're man or woman, it doesn't matter, and that you are receiving what you deserve. In the environment, people also can see a past person is still trying to hold on to you. All right, let's see. What is the hopes and fears? Hopes and fears. Somebody's in fear because they are in mental anguish. They're under a lot of stress. They're carrying heavy burdens. I feel like this is the person that was communicating with another party in the past. They're in a nightmare. Um, I get the energy of somebody not knowing how to get out of the situation with the hangman. So we have the nine of swords and we have the ten of wands. Yeah, somebody is really stressed out. They don't know how to get out of the situation they created for themselves. What is potential outcome for the collective? Potential outcome. 
a white feather floating outside of my window. Victory, success, public recognition, uh, vindication, you being seen for who you truly are, you having a win. This is six of wands. It's pretty amazing. I love it. It's a potential outcome. You, nine of pentacles, being elevated. You reaping your reward, financial security, stability, uh, working independently and it paying off, mastering a skill. And even though the eight of pentacles isn't here, you have to have the eight to get to the nine. You have invested in yourself, which has created this abundant energy for you and the potential outcome. That's pretty amazing. Nine of pentacles. The bottom of the deck, you're manifesting your desires. Three of wands, you're moving on. That's pretty amazing. All right. You know, I get the energy collected that you guys don't even care. You don't care what this past person is going through. Um, you've learned your lesson and you're just living your best life. You're just not interested in anything. You don't, you're not affected at all. You don't even, for most of you feel like you're not hurt anymore. It's like, yeah, that hurt when I was in an illusion, when I was unhealed, but now that I'm healed, I look at it as a blessing that I escaped a situation like that. That's the energy I feel. All right, current situation, seven of cups. What is that? Wants to come out. Somebody's having to have, trying to have strength while they're in an illusion. Give me one more. Current situation. We have seven of cups and the strength card, although it could be a Leo as well, or it's just the energy of someone trying to have strength, even though they can't see clearly. They're confused. Uh, one more, please. For the current situation. Yeah. They made the wrong decision. Judgment in reverse. This is someone. They weren't accountable for the things that they did. But they also made the wrong decision. And look what wanted to come out as the higher font. God is uh, bringing this person from the past awareness about the consequences for the decision they made. That's what I'm feeling. The challenge here is somebody know this, knows they need to make a decision. Things are not going the way they expected, and they know they need to make a decision. Wow. Look, with the Wheel of Fortune, this person is experiencing a lot of karma because they were not accountable. They did not apologize for the deception, the betrayal, the toxic patterns, behaviors with the devil, ten of swords, page of cups. Th this person... Their blockages is a, a consequence for operating in this evil way, being so toxic. This is someone that, that betrayed you in the worst way and thought they would never be accountable, but the divine saw all that was done. This person not only owes a debt to the divine, but now they owe the devil as well. Wow. All right. Focus, Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, you're this high priestess, highly intuitive, and we can see somebody is focused on trying to put you in financial ruin because they know your fate and destiny, and this high priestess, Ten of Pentacles energy is big. You have a big legacy. Somebody definitely wants to block your resources. Give me one more on the Five of Pentacles. It doesn't matter. We have the chariot. You're being spiritually guided, spiritually led, and it leads to victory. So it doesn't matter what's being projected on a high priestess to try to affect her finances or his finances. The spiritual realm is the one guiding you. And whoever is doing this projection, they don't have that kind of power. I'm sorry, but they don't. They don't. Past energies, there was a lot of communication. This player energy was communicating with a third party. Um, they thought this person was their soulmate. Past energy. Past energy. Past energy. Yeah. This person with the king of cups to the two of pentacles was pouring out their cup, giving their love to someone else, juggling you, but it was all about the money. It wasn't real love. This was all about money. So I don't know if this queen of wands promised this knight of wands that they were going to be wealthy if they would, you know, leave you. It was a lie. It was an illusion. It was definitely an illusion. And they, they could have worked with a group of people to do this, to cause this deception. Um, 
but the very thing they did to you was what made you strong because your strength is that ten of swords, that deception and betrayal that forced you to stand in your power, to cut people out like that are in this energy, to be your true authentic self. Strength for the collective. Strength for the collective. Yeah. See, by this person betraying you with a third party, three of cups, the blockage with the four of pentacles, they could no longer hold on to you because you let the tower fall. Because of self-respect. That was the energy I got initially. You had too much self-respect. You weren't going to let this person um, humiliate you in this way. You know you deserved better. You know you were better. You knew that the third party could not even compare to you. You knew that. So, no. All right. Near future. This person is at a crossroads from your past. This is God. Creating stagnancy in this person's life so that they will go within with the hermit and self-reflect on their behavior, on their issues. This person's been playing the victim their whole life. They like to do dark, evil things to people, and then they like to play the victim and pretend that others did that to them. This is a very dark energy. In the advice, stay in your love. Stay in the Ace of Cups energy. Don't let anyone get you out of that loving energy. I wouldn't communicate with this person at all. Yeah. Hold on a second. They're saying that you may have this Jezebel come in and try to communicate with you. This is a third party energy. Cut this person out. You are already healed and you're calling instability, whether it's in a union or on your own. Don't let this third party come in and try and create drama for you. This third party is nothing but drama. And justice is playing out. You don't need to get involved. So if a third party tries to communicate, guys, use your discernment. If it were me, I wouldn't interact at all. I have nothing to say to the past person or the third party. Nothing. I don't care. My life is better. Your life is better. Anyone's life would be better getting away from that energy. In the environment, people can see you're an empress. They know how amazing you are. They see that you are receiving what you deserve. They're also seeing your past person still trying to hold on to you. In the environment. In the environment. Yeah, people are talking about this person. You know, this person may have done a lot of gossiping about you in the past, but now people are talking about this person. They're also saying that you are a star, you are a healer, you have bright energy, and that your past person is stuck. Stuck. All right. In the hopes and fears, somebody's in mental anguish. They're in a nightmare carrying a heavy burden, and this is a fear for them. Hopes and fears. Holy Spirit, hopes and fears. Yeah. See... Someone is afraid. They made this investment and they're afraid that someone is going to leave. That's what I feel. They feel like they're going to be left behind. They made this investment and six of swords. Somebody, I feel like either they want to leave or they're afraid the third party is going to leave. I definitely feel like this person has an abandonment wound. They're codependent. They like to trauma bond because they don't want to be alone. They're afraid to be alone. Um, in the potential outcome, you have victory, success, public recognition. You're being elevated in the Nine of Pentacles. Financial security, stability, so much confidence. Potential outcome. You're doing something on your own, independent. And potential outcome, let's see. We have the Five of Wands and we have the Moon. A lot of chaos, a lot of conflict, a lot of deception. Wow. What they perceived as a soulmate to them in the past has been nothing but drama, chaos, conflict, a lot of lies, cheating. There's a lot of deception here. There is a lot of dark magic or manipulation. Potential outcome, somebody is going to walk away. Now, it could be your past person or it could be someone else or the other, the, the third party, but someone's definitely walking away. All right, we'll see. And I don't think collective, I don't think you even care. I don't think you care. Who walks away from who? You're just like, whatever. I'm, 
I'm moving on. I'm moving on up, right? Let's see. Oh, let's get, uh, what time is it? We could do one more round, maybe. All right. Current situation, somebody knows they need to make a decision. They're trying to have strength. They know they, they made the wrong decision in the past. Current situation. Yeah, look at that. Four of Wands. Whatever marriage or long-term commitment they're in, it's dysfunctional. It's falling apart. It's not working out. They've been holding on to this ending. Four of Pentacles to the death. They've been holding on to this ending. They know it's not working out, and they're still holding on. Uh, the challenge is somebody, they need to make a decision. They're experiencing karma because they were never accountable for the deception and betrayal in this dev devil energy. They were never accountable. All right. The challenge, please, Holy Spirit. What's the challenge? <laughs> They're challenged by you, Empress. Your success. You keep growing, evolving. You just keep looking better and better and better. And they're challenged by this. They can't get to your energy with the hermit. You're too private. It's also, they're feeling f like a fool because all the things they said about you, how worthless you were, you don't make any money, you're not good enough, you're a loser, whatever, you're crazy. Being in an empress energy, the world knows you're an empress. We saw it in the environment. So they're just looking like a liar at this point. Um, not that you even care what it, anyone thinks. I don't care what anyone thinks. People are going to judge. It doesn't matter. I'm living my best life, just like all of you. We're doing the best we can. In the um, focus, somebody's focused on your legacy. High Priestess, Ten of Pentacles. They want nothing more than to create financial blockages for you, but they can't because with the chariot, is spiritually guided. The focus. Focus. Things are coming to light. This person may be going through some sort of an awakening or people around them are going through an awakening. And this is all God bringing this about. It's God. Yeah. Um, yeah, look, God is changing people's perspective and it's going to cause a lot of towers in the environment. Um, in the past, your past person started communicating with a Jezebel, a third party. Uh, they thought this person was their soulmate. Um, this was a player energy that was giving all of their love, what, what you would call love, but this is not love. This person doesn't know how to love. They were juggling you with, because they thought that they were going to get wealthy. This Jezebel may have promised this person money, and it was a lie in the past. Past energy. Yeah, it was a lie. Six of Pentacles in reverse. They did not receive what they were promised. They're in regret now. Thank you, Spirit, for validating. And the strength, that, that deception betrayal became a strength for you because it forced you um, to take your power back, be in the Queen of Swords energy, speak your truth, and cut out what doesn't serve you. Um, your strength was also, because of this third party, you protecting your energy, not giving to this person, allowing the tower to fall, forcing this person to release because you just let go. You just moved on. You let the tower fall. You had too much self-respect. You were like, no, I, I love myself, respect myself enough to allow you to humiliate me in this way. I deserve better. Strength for the collective. Strength for the collective. Yeah, so you made the decision to move on, even though with the moon you didn't see clearly. You knew that there was deception. You felt it. You knew it, but you didn't have all the answers, but you still made the decision. You faced your fear and said, I'm taking a leap of faith. Anywhere is better than here. Anywhere. All right. In the uh, near future, God's putting this person from your past in a timeout so that they will reflect on who they are, what they've done. Near future. Near future. Near future for the collective. Yeah, near future, making plans for the future. You're manifesting your desires, three of wands, <clears throat> and they're jealous. 
trying to create chaos and conflict. And their dark little box. They just showed me a little box. A dark little box. And their dark little box. All right. In the environment, people in the environment around this person, they see that you're an empress. They see you're receiving what you deserve. They know your past person's holding on to you. There's a lot of talk about how you are a healer and how this person is stuck. They're just stuck. Uh, in the environment. In the environment, Holy Spirit. What's going on in the environment? That was it, a whole lot. Well, we'll take it. Yeah, what the environment is seeing is your past person made an investment with a very immature energy. Page of Cups could be a water sign for money. And there's heartbreak. There could be a third party interference, but there's heartbreak here in that dynamic uh, that they chose. It's being seen in the environment, whatever it is. Hopes and fears this person is in mental anguish, uh, carrying a heavy burden, and they're afraid that they're going to be left behind. Either they're, the past person is going to move away from them and make a new investment, or they are trying to plan on how they can move away and make a new investment. I'm not sure who this is. Hopes and fears. Yeah, see, I feel like your past person wants to find a way to move away because they realize that they cannot manifest. Manifesting your desires, new moon, they can't manifest in the energy with this karmic. And they want good karma with the Wheel of Fortune. And I also get their fear is this karma because of the lying, cheating, and stealing. So they may have the desire for the good karma, but they know what they've done. So they are in fear of the karma. You know, this is someone that's never accountable. The potential outcome, you have victory, success, public recognition. You're being elevated. And there are people here. No, your past person's in chaos and conflict. A lot of deception with this person they thought was a soulmate. There's a lot of manipulation and dark magic. Energy manipulation there. All right, potential outcome. Yeah, you're the high priestess. You may have warned this person. Um, about the choices and decisions they would make. The blockage for this person is they cannot move on with the Six of Swords on the fence. Two of Pentacles on the fence, they are extremely imbalanced, emotionally, physically, financially. And you, as a high priestess, may have told this person, this is what's going to happen. They didn't want to listen. They definitely didn't want to listen. There's big changes coming. Timing of six months. Finding your inner truth, catalyst for change, transformation, cosmic triggers and beginnings now this could mean that this person from your past over the next six months they're going to have some sort of awakening some sort of an awakening all right guys uh we're going to go into part two we'll get some letters signs uh, maybe i'll do the dice and do another round uh, see what else we get all right, guys, I love you. If you're interested in scheduling a private reading, I think I'm up to next Wednesday. So schedule sooner than later. There's a limited availability. And if you're interested in meeting new people, check out Astrodipity. You can find all of my links, the bio of TikTok, description of YouTube. I love you guys. I'll see you on part two. Bye-bye.